American people with an update on our efforts to protect the integrity of our very important 2020 election. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. If you count the votes that came in late, we're looking at them very strongly. But a lot of votes came in late. I've already decisively won many critical states, including massive victories in Florida, Iowa, Indiana, Ohio. To name just a few, we won these and many other victories despite historic election interference from big media, big money, and big tech. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. And the pollsters got it knowingly wrong. They got it knowingly wrong. We had polls that were so ridiculous, and everybody knew it at the time. There was no blue wave that they predicted. They thought there was going to be a big blue wave. That was false. It was done for suppression reasons. But instead, there was a big red wave. And it's been properly acknowledged, actually, by the media. They were, I think, very impressed. But that was after the fact. That doesn't do us any good. But there's been a lot of shenanigans, and we can't uh, stand for that in our country. Thank you very much. Progress. We have to stop treating our opponents as enemies. What brings us together as Americans is so much stronger than anything that can tear us apart. And I'm grateful to all of my supporters here in Delaware and all across the nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Democrat Joe Biden has defeated President Donald Trump to become the 46th president of the United States. Yes. And, and um, we made history, Kamala. Yes. 